Well, good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and we are looking at a beer from the one and the only Great Lakes Brewery and it was picked up for me by the one and only Greg. Thank you very much Gregory. Uh, this is part of Great Lakes Tank 10 series. This is their Apocalypse Much Later. Apocalypse Much Later. So Apocalypse Much Later is 10.5% alcohol by volume and it's a bourbon barrel aged black IPA. Now it may say how long it was bourbon barrel aged. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you what it is though because I cannot read that. That uh, tiny little red writing on a black background just is not albino friendly. And the camera's too far away for me to put the can up to the camera to show it to you. So we're just going to go with it. Hey, how many of you have watched uh, Better Call Saul? I just, I just started it. I watched the first two episodes. Uh, not 100% sold on the show yet, but I do enjoy it. I mean, it gave me a couple giggles, showing Saul when he started off, and... Alrighty, that head is beautiful. Nice brown head. Uh, beautiful, beautiful black beard. Yeah, even with the light going through it, there's nothing going through it. It's black. It's jet black. It's stout black. No snap, crackle, pop at all. That head is brown. That head is thick. That head is creamy. Almost no bubbles popping on the top. Just little tiny ones here and there. Scent, well, visual appeal is one of the best looking black IPAs I've ever seen. Smell. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> that is fucking awesome. <laughs> it's taking the things that I hate and the things that I love and mixing them together in perfect harmony. I'm getting some cedar and some pine, and I hate cedar and piney hops. And a little bit of grapefruit. I'm getting a lot of roast, and then I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting vanilla, I'm getting the oak, I'm getting... Lots of vanilla, lots of oak, a bit of cinnamon. A touch of coconut. Um, and a little bit of fig. I mean, the bourbon barrel is just popping. It's just popping. So you're taking this, this mixture of hops that I'm not 100% keen on and you're mixing it with these beautiful, beautiful bourbon scents that I am very keen on and you're putting it together into something that hopefully will be magical. Let's try it. Cheers. Oh my god, there's motherfucking coconut in this beer. I fucking love this beer. The 10.5% alcohol, and though it hides the alcohol in a way that you wouldn't really know it's 10.5% alcohol, it does leave a, a, a residual warming. So at the same time as when you drink it, you can't tell it's 10.5. You can tell it's a little higher ABV than... Uh, than a lot of other high ABV beers. Um, the black IPA part of this comes in at the beginning with a lot of roastiness and at the end with some pine and some cedar and like, uh, excuse me, and like a grapefruit piff, like you just chewed. You were trying to open it with your fingers and you couldn't get it and you didn't have a knife or anything around so you took a bite and you just got that 
oily bitterness that just covers your mouth for a little bit, that's in there too. Um, but a beautiful, beautiful amount of coconut comes right after that roast. Right after that roast, your mouth is just filled with vanilla and coconut, and oh my god, it's amazing. It almost kind of reminds me of the, uh, of the filling of the, uh, silver ferro, ferro rochers, uh, for those of you that get them, right, and you can get the, you can get the gold one, that's just the normal oh, ferro rocher there. Or you can get the mix pack that has the gold, the black, and the silver. And the silver ones are coconut. You open it and it's white, it has coconut flakes on it and all that. And you bite into it and you get that coconut, that vanilla coconut filling. And that's what this reminds me of. Oh my god, I think I'm going to Walmart to buy a mix pack of Pharaohs right now. Well, not right now because you can probably see my... No, you can't see the window. But, uh, it's... Yeah, it's... It's nighttime. I can't go right now, but I want to go right now. Like that's what this reminds me of, is the silver Ferrero Rochers. Yeah, and the vanilla and the coconut just shine. You get that roasted malt, and then the vanilla and the coconut come out, and then there's a little touch of oaky tannins, and almost like a cinnamon drying well cinnamon dryness and then bang in comes the uh in comes the cedar the cedar and the pine and the uh grapefruit piff so the entire way through with this beer it's it's bourbon barrel and it's black IPA and it just mixes in so divinely and again, like, it starts off with the roast, which is what you'd get from a black IPA. It ends with the hoppiness that you'd get from a black IPA. And the entire middle of this beer is fucking barrel. And it just works. It works well. I can't believe how well it works. You know what? This is a 9.5 out of 10 for me. I love this beer. And to say that when I'm admitting that the hop profile on the back end is a hop profile I'm not 100% keen on is huge. The fact that I can say it is 10.5% alcohol and taste-wise, taste-wise I would think it would be about 5. Take everything into account, including the throat warming, and I'd probably guess it at around 8%. So, I mean, it is something that if you were paying attention, you'd know it's more than 10.5. If you weren't paying attention, it doesn't really taste like it's more than 10.5. It is it is complex. It's medium to heavy-bodied. It's a big beer, and it's a beautiful beer. And for those of you that can get it, you really should, and you should try it. And for those of you that can't, I'm a sorry. Greg, thank you for picking me this up. I don't remember, I don't believe I really liked Apocalypse Now, or, uh, was it Apocalypse Now or Apocalypse Later that you picked up for me? I can't remember. I'm going to have to look it up which one you picked up for me. But I remember not fully liking that one, but this much later one, I love this thing. This thing is amazing. Uh, GLB, I want, like, a skid of this stuff right now. Just bring it over. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I want a skid tomorrow. Okay, I want a skid of Apocalypse much later by tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye Bye-bye. Bye-bye.